Kyle's goal is to find a job that provides an income of at least $60,000. Laura's Furniture offers him a job paying a base salary of $15,000 plus a commission of 6% of his sales. Determine what Kyle's total sales will need to be for him to have a yearly income greater than or equal to $60,000. Let's first let the variable X equal the total sales in dollars. And now let's write an expression for Kyle's yearly income. He gets a base salary of $15,000 a year, which gives us 15,000. And then plus, he earns a 6% commission of his sales, which in our case is 6% of X. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. 6% is equal to 0 0.06, 0 0.06 times X, is equal to 0.06x, and therefore the expression for Kyle's annual income is 15,000 plus 0.06x. And then he wants the income to be greater than or equal to $60,000, which gives us the inequality 15,000 plus 0.06x is greater than or equal to 60,000. And now we need to solve for x. The first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To undo positive 15,000, we subtract 15,000 on both sides. Simplifying, 15,000 minus 15,000 is zero. The left side simplifies to 0.06x, which is greater than or equal to 60,000 minus 15,000 is 45,000. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for x. 0.06x means 0.06 times x, and therefore the last step is to divide both sides by 0.06. Simplifying, 0.06 divided by itself simplifies to one, one times x is x. x must be greater than or equal to the quotient on the right. Let's determine this quotient on the calculator. And notice how the quotient is 750,000. which means x, the total sales in dollars, must be greater than or equal to $750,000 if Kyle wants his annual income to be greater than or equal to $60,000. So completing the sentence below, if Kyle takes a job with Laura's furniture, he will need to have at least $750,000 in total sales to have a yearly income greater than or equal to $60,000 per year. I hope you found this helpful.